Hi, my name is Danny Frank. I'm a realtor with JLA Realty. I'd like to talk to you about the Pearland real estate market and what's going on through the, the, the first three quarters of the year, coming into the fourth quarter of 2022. I'm going to show you some charts and graphs today that really kind of explain what's going on in the real estate market and why it's such a great time now to either buy or sell real estate in the Pearland, Texas area. Think about it. It doesn't matter if you're buying or selling. It's still a great market either way you go. So let me extrapolate some terms through this, and I'll show you some great stuff as we move along. So bear with me here a second. All right, so let's look at this screen now. So what I want you to see on this, this is a, a, a program that I use, and it kind of shows a lot of different things. But this is just the city of Pearland. doesn't show any of the fringe areas. This is just the city limits of Pearland. And we can go into the different market areas if somebody would like to see that. I just need to know where you want to go look. I, if you want to see Manville or Friendswood or even South Houston, I can go into a lot of different areas. But let's let's look just at the Pearland market right now. So what I want you to notice, this is from October of 2020, if you look right over here, all the way to October of 2022. What I want you to really notice about this is this. Look at, look at this pattern. Do you see this pattern right there? Do you see that? Come here again. Look at that same pattern. And look here. What's the pattern starting to do? So I'm going to tell you every August. So let's let's go to August of, of uh, 21 and kind of look at this. If you went from August all the way down, coming up till February, and you come here, oh, let's take August and come down all the way to February. And you come here and you look at, August all the way to February again, this is where I'm saying the real estate market's in a natural pattern of slowing down in the fourth quarter. What does that really mean? Well, what it means is that the market is not tanking here in Houston, Texas. Are there fewer properties for sale? Yeah, and this, this kind of shows us right there. But if we come back and look, let me extrapolate some different numbers here for you and show you what's going on. So let me make this a little bit larger so you can see this. So if you look right here, for sale properties, you look back in October of 2020, there were 399 properties for sale. Last month in October here in Pearland, there were only 347 properties for sale. Huh. So the market hasn't changed that much. But what I want you to understand is this. The last two years have just been an absolute bust when it comes to selling real estate. And what I mean by that, they were just exploding. Look at some of these numbers from a year ago, October of 21, 283. We're better than we were a year ago. So all these numbers right there, they're all showing me the exact same thing. But what I want you to pay attention to is this. Look at the green and the blue areas here. If you look at this, the, 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 the blue is under contract. And the green is what has sold. So look over here to where we are now, to what's where we were two years ago. But let's come and look at where we were last year as well. So what's really happening? What's happening is we're still having the same amount of properties that are coming up on the market. But what's happening with the interest rates going up, is people are slowing down their purchases. That's why if you look at this number, 18% under contract is down 18.2%. Sold is down 13.4%. So if you look at this, in 2022 20, October, only 95 properties sold. Come here October of 21, 158. That's quite a significant difference. And look at two years ago, 176 properties sold. So, man, what does that really mean? Well, it means the market's slowing down. And that's natural because where we are with the interest rate and where the economy is right now. And typically every four years during, a, during a, an election period, this year, and then we'll have two more years next year during a, the midterm election and during the presidential election, they even slow down more because people are so uncertain of what's going to happen. So let's let's look at some pricing and what's going on in the Pearland real estate market. So look at this. October 2020, if you would have bought a house there, the average house sold for $270,000. All right. October of 21, 
$335,000. And today, that same house would sell for $370,000. So where does that really leave you? Well, think about this. If you would have bought a house back in October of 2020, you would have paid 270. dollars And today, you could sell that house for about three seventy. dollars Wow. You would have made $100,000 in two years if you would have bought a house back then. Right now is the best time in the world to buy a house. Housing is not going to get cheaper. You can look at this chart right here. This is the median price sold over the last two years. Sure, there's been a few little dips, but for the most part, we don't have big booms here in Pearland at all. We have a very steady growth. We had a little dip in September. But go back and look at September. We had a little dip September too. Look over here, September. You can't see it, but there was a little dip. If you extrapolate that out, there was a dip in September. That happens every year. So we're okay. I'm telling you, real estate market's doing all right in Pearland, Texas. And what we can really see this by is if you go look at the supply and demand of what the real estate's doing, this is what this is a chart of. So this blue line right here represents something called days on market. OK, and the, the blue bars represent month supply of inventory. What does month supply of inventory mean? Well, the National Association of Realtors says that a six month supply of inventory is a neutral market. Got that? A neutral market. So anything below that five months, four months, three months is a seller's market. Anything above six months is a buyer's market. So if you look at this and extrapolate this in right now, we have two months of inventory. Huh? So what, what, what does that mean for you, the homeowner or the home buyer in Pearland? Well, it means that if nothing new came on the market, we would sell out of everything in two months, even with the, the price of housing going where it is with the interest rates going. So is that going up? It's 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 drastically changing, but we still only have that two month supply with the days on a market of uh, just 27 days. So if you price your house accordingly in less than 30 days, you should have a contract on your house and you should be moving. Think about that. In two years, you could have made $100,000 and, and I can have that done for you in about 30 days with the right priced home in the Pearland, Texas market. So let me help you come in and really decide what to do. And, you know, it's it's a um, it's just an opportunity for us to sit down and talk. I would love the opportunity to sit down with you and show you what your house would really be worth in a great market like we're in right now, because the market is selling, it's moving. Sure, times are, are slipping up a little bit, but that's okay. We have the ability to still sell houses with prices that are, or houses that are priced accordingly. So let's, let's talk. I'd love for you to talk to me, subscribe and follow, hit that little bell so we can come in and you can see all my videos coming in talking about the market. If you want to know what your particular neighborhood is doing, I can drill that same information down to a very particular neighborhood. This really depends where you want to look and how, how granular you want to come. So again, my name is Danny Frank. I'm a realtor with JLA Realty, and I'd love the opportunity to help you sell your house. I've been serving Texans with real estate needs since 2004, and I am the Pearland Real Estate Expert. Take care. Bye-bye.